<laughs> I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Now, uh, I guess the main, I've actually been wondering about this. This is not going to be something we're going to answer here simply, but where do babies come from? (laughs) Tell us where babies come from. (laughs) Dylan's been trying to word this question in for a long time. (laughs) So we're back with another episode of That Cousin Show, guys. And lo and behold, we're back with a guest. Whoa. A very special guest. Brianna Garcia, everybody, she's here. Yes. Cue the applaud. And that's our show. We got to go, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Brianna, we've known you for a very long time, and one of the main reasons we wanted to have you on Uh-oh. is because we would consider you a very successful person. We are not successful people. <laughs> <laughs> but you all have dress shoes on. Oh, yeah. You've been commenting on our shoes. That's we have the like fourth time. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show them success. your shoes. What, what kind of shoes are you wearing? Hold that foot up. What's the brand socks, name? Too. These are Cole, these are Cole Hans that I poured bleach on accidentally. <laughs> Cole Han. <laughs> Just la- I'm admiring our shoes. Um, but no, uh, Brianna is uh, very entrepreneurial. She has a lot of things going for her. And we've always admired that about her. Thank you. And here in Ventura, where we all live, she has her own boutique store in downtown on Main Street now. Yeah. If you guys don't know Ventura that well, if you're on Main Street... You're you've making made it. it. You've made locale. it, essentially. And you've been there for quite a few Here. years now. Yeah. You own the store, and it's very <clears throat> successful. It's. Um, I'm coming up on my eighth year in business, October 13th. Whoa. Crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Holy moly. So what do you sell in that store? This is your time for your plug. Let's, oh, okay. If you well, are wanting to visit her store. This so is the store's name is called Tiki Girl. <gasps> yeah, that's what it is. Was that initially <laughs> the name when you bought it, or...? Um, I bought the store and it was like a little eight month old boutique and the owner was kind of burnt out on being in retail. It was the end of the recession. Uh, Uh, So I bought it for a really good price and I had never done any, I had no idea that I wanted to do anything like this. Like mm -hmm. I had no dreams of owning a retail store ever. Right. Um, So I bought it. I bought the name. I bought all the contents and I just worked by myself Every day, 365 days a year, <laughs> right, three right. years straight in that store. Right. Yeah, crazy. So, so, so you you yes. said you have no, you had no dream of doing this, but what no. made you want to buy the store? Well, Joel, <laughs> I'm sorry. Great. I'm sorry. I asked. <laughs> How dare you? Um, so, oh, well, you guys. I knew you guys at this time. So yeah. I had yeah. started a blog. Mm-hmm. So I had quit my job in New York. Um, I was writing a book, and when I was writing a book, I started a blog to find my voice, and that turned into BriannaSance.com, which was <gasps> Cody YouTube knows all videos. about that. Yeah. BriannaSance.com. Cody was, like, rambling about that before we jumped on yeah, here. Yeah, he was. Don't hold him look back. up BriannaSance.com <laughs> now. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just a warning. warning. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> it's we do different not own than that used website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should have um, But, yeah, I was doing that, and that segued into me doing uh, YouTube videos on local stores with this, like, crazy character that I had developed called Brianita. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember remember that. that. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. And I I did a video on Tiki Girl for just, like, some social media YouTube Mm -hmm. promotion, and... After I did the video, it was a great success. It was super fun. Uh, The owner asked if I knew anyone that wanted to buy the business. And I was like, well, I think I might be able to do that with every dollar I had to my name, plus Mm -hmm. like some money from my grandpa who had (laughs) passed away. And so I did it. That's awesome. That was that. And here you are eight years later. Here I am eight years later. Rocking it. Crushing it. Crushing it. Making all kinds of money. Well, you were telling me the schedule that you have to do that because you have to, I mean, since you're an independent business owner, mm-hmm. this isn't like, oh, you just go into your office and you just kind of answer emails. Like, no, you have to like I get down on the ground floor and you're like buying all the different types of yeah. stuff and just managing the people and all that kind of stuff. You're going to LA all the time, getting all the yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, so do do I this? have a schedule now. Mm-hmm. When I first started, you know, you're trying to figure things out. I had never really done anything managerial before. So when I started Mm -hmm. hiring employees, like it was super difficult to figure out, you know, it's like you, you go to a corporate job and they're like, here's this book and this is what you're supposed to do. And you just follow this. And Mm -hmm. 
you know, that's your job. I didn't have anything like that. And so I had to come up with procedures and rules and all this stuff. And um, that wasn't fun because being the boss and enforcing those things is not always pleasant. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I every Monday I wake up, go to the gym, then I start my email day. And then um, on Tuesdays I go down to downtown LA on Wednesdays we usually do the photo shoots and process all the clothing Mm -hmm. and then Thursdays uh, the new product goes out on the floor we have new drops every Thursday and then Fridays we'll usually do like another model shoot for like social media promotion Mm -hmm. or we're doing uh, YouTube TV it's called Tiki Girl TV (gasps) yeah I know it's very cool we have I think eight whole episodes (gasps) nice check it out It's very fun to get back in the YouTube sphere after having. So, what do you do on those episodes? Songs. Like, what do you what do you promote? On your um, channel? So, I'm still kind of trying to figure it out a little bit, you know. Uh-huh. So, we basically, I want, I come at it with like, I want to inform people and I want to make people laugh and I want to inspire them. So, mm-hmm. and then also kind of make them feel connected to me and to the girls. Mm -hmm. Um, Just because I used to be on the floor every day for years and then people don't see me anymore and they're like, I wonder what she's doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like vacationing in the south of France. No, I'm (laughs) I'm here with you guys pimping out my business Mm -hmm. on your podcast. Yeah. There are some things you do behind the scenes. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I do a few things, a few other things. Mm -hmm. Um, That would have been just as fruitful than just coming on our podcast, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chess is great. Um, so you're obviously very busy. You have the YouTube channel, you have your business, and do you still do photography? I do. I, I'll only take jobs that make me a lot of money. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you do Amen. that? Amen. You don't work for free? I just don't have any time. Yeah. And, it, you know, people don't understand how long it takes to shoot, to... And then, of course, to edit the photos and then get them the photos. So, you, I, you've worked for like some pretty high profile people though before, haven't you? And you've yeah. So in New York, I worked for a fashion photographer, and I actually didn't learn how to shoot at all in hmm. New York. But I did uh, run the production, so I just basically hired everyone and made sure everyone was there for the job, all the right. assistants and all that stuff. Right. Um, <clears throat> but I did listen and kind of like learned about lighting just by observing and listening to like his direction and whatnot yeah yeah. so when i um bought the store and i needed to hire a photographer i was like well i think i can do this myself and you actually helped me out on our very first e-commerce shoot Luke. was that your was that your first one that was our first oh my God, and so it, look, it looks so good i'm so proud i should um, <laughs> i should give you the pictures so you can insert them in i will you know we're yeah. just uh, here they was, are everybody see yeah. here they yeah. are oh man and i think you were holding <laughs> oh. up this little like tin light <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think so i remember uh, yeah that was your first location little tiny little place yeah and you had it like all set up like a studio 500 mm. square feet yeah. i think in the middle of the day yeah it was <laughs> there wasn't a ton of customers coming in um uh, that was a fun yeah, time i remember when uh, you way. first it was around the early days when you had first bought tiki girl and you were still trying to promote it and whatnot and i remember boys and arrows in particular oh yeah my friend megan uh-huh uh, so i mean i'm assuming they're still killing and making selling a bunch of those right what, what? Say that one more time. Boys and Arrows, they're still selling a bunch of those? Oh, yeah. She is just... Killing it. Killing it. I mean, we don't buy bikinis. <laughs> Believe well, it or not. speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, but I remember when you were first having to promote that because uh-huh. they're really skimpy bikinis. Oh, yeah. They're tiny. And yeah, you right. had to do a lot of photo shooting. <laughs> uh-huh. And I remember you told me, you said, my job is literally just shooting naked women all day. <laughs> you know, I have so every straight true. man's dream Shooting job. and touching <laughs> scantily clothed women. It, and I remember one day you recruited Luke my, to help you. My jobs. Wait, what, what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he told you that. I just I I begged on my knees. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Shit. hasn't Please. stopped talking about that day. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't washed his hands. I highlight in your life. <laughs> what? Now, are you still doing that? Are you still like going around taking pictures of half naked women? Still? Absolutely. I mean, what? <laughs> is this, you want to assist? Life? Is this like any? Life? I mean, obviously, I mean. I will take assistance at any time, you guys. This is too. If anyone right, wants to edit my Another photos, time. you can have him. Oh, wives won't matter. They won't care. <laughs> <laughs> won't matter about that at all. Even anyone out there in the world 
<laughs> please, <laughs> please edit my photos in Lightroom for me so I don't have to do it. <laughs> Actually, one of the girls is learning how to do it now, which is a huge relief for like. Wear the I'm, bikini. What? <laughs> wear the bikini. <laughs> yeah. How to wear a bikini? How to wear a bikini? Wearing it backwards. They all know how to wear a bikini. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, like learning how to shoot all of our e-commerce stuff. So oh, okay. It's great. Gotcha. There is nothing better than being able to rely on someone else to do that. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. There really is it. <laughs> What's your, like, biggest selling item that you sell at the store? Is it the Boys and Arrows? <sighs> no, you know, swim has taken a downturn <gasps> uh, for me. Not for all the swim lines. You need but more naked photos. It's... What, what? You need more naked photos. It's not being gross, Dylan. <laughs> I know. Just saying, marketing. Dylan, come yeah. on. Be grosser. Um, well, for me, it's uh, everyone has their own website now. All the brands mm-hmm. have their own direct-to-consumer. Uh, yeah, it's called website. True. And so instead of coming into the shop and trying on Swim, they now just go directly to the website, which usually has like a mm. better return policy or exchange. Mm. It has you know more options for exchange. and Yeah things like that for the customer so uh, which you know what it's not too bad for me because i like clothing more and i have there's a higher profit margin i make off of clothing mm-hmm. um and i just think it's easier to turn over uh, than yeah. swim gotcha. sorry to disappoint so <laughs> dang you guys check out my website in the future it's <laughs> <laughs> not littered with scantily clad uh, well we'll still promote your website models. and here it is everybody www.shoptikigirl.com just do that. You should all go there. Check it out. Especially if you're a straight male. <laughs> I believe that's the best thing you need to do there. I've been on it this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, I, have, I, have, I have bought stuff at your store you before have, oh, for yeah, my, totally uh, my ex at the time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I've actually bought a few things from there for Thank myself. Thank you yeah. for your patronage. For <laughs> when I'm confused some nights. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> Do you sell fragrances like perfume? <clears throat> Great question, Cody. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. I'm at just all. genuinely <laughs> curious. So we have our signature lotion, "Wish You Were Here," um, which we developed for the store a few years ago, and that sells like hotcakes. But mm. I'm making a new line of body care products that mm. smell like a tropical vacation, a little bit more coconut vanilla E. You're making your own line, like making your own? I am. I'm making Jeez. three different lines right now. This I'm is making crazy. a clothing line, which is like this t-shirt is basically a sample. It's not dyed and doesn't have like the graphic on it yet, but this mm. is my very first clothing item. I'm wearing it wow. tonight. You're welcome. Wow. Promotion. It is a Look white t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so different from all top other top. white t-shirts i know you can tell the difference it still doesn't top our dress shoes it does wore, but... not top the dress shoes <laughs> the stitching in that is hard to beat um but yeah i do sell perfumes i guess our own type of our own line of scents hmm. yeah Jeez. is there anything that? else that you plan to release through that store or is there like oh, this big <laughs> vision you have for what the store should be well i'm working on um like really turning it okay so i'll give you the scoop on what's happening give us the, the inside in the boutique world mm-hmm. uh so everyone's like online 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 all the small stores are gonna die it's not true people only buy things like kleenex and scales on amazon <laughs> things that they know <laughs> they can just Scales. pick up and don't really care about but mm-hmm. women love shopping it's like a hobby yeah you know this is um, true. especially the whole supporting small business shop local movement which is awesome and mm-hmm. especially for me right now the women owned business thing mm-hmm. is great yeah. i'm just checking off all the marks <laughs> on the <laughs> you have going well the, for yeah. me type thing all the awards yeah all the awards <laughs> um i didn't know i was gonna get them but here i am it's great <laughs> Uh, so, but in order for me to make myself different from all the other shops popping up is I really need to have my own branded product that no one else has Mm -hmm. so I can stand out and compete against all the other online shops and even just local shops in town. And it is, it's a whole other thing. It's like Mm -hmm. having a line. Having yeah, yeah. a couple lines. So. Absolutely. Are you trying to be like Jeffree Star? Exactly like him. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't wear all my makeup tonight. I'm kind of bummed now that you brought it up. <laughs> but I don't look like him. See, so you got all these things going. You got a line, you're launching, your own store, photography, you're doing a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
where, where is all this motivation coming from? You're just the kind of person that just says, I got to do all the <laughs> things. I have to do all those things I wanted to do. Like, Yes. All right. <laughs> yes, to everybody. Next week, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um, well, I think one day I might have a kid. And so, I mean, like, not right now, but one day. <laughs> Shocking revelation, everybody. Oh my God. You are not the father. <laughs> you heard it, folks. First time. Mar- Mari Povich just walks around the corner, <laughs> sits down right there. Dude, you this are is not the most watched fall. podcast. Mari, how'd you get in? <laughs> the door was not locked. <laughs> um, so I forgot the question because you guys are making me laugh. Are you pregnant or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pregnant. Right. Now, uh, well, I guess that the main. I, I've actually been wondering about this. This is not going to be something we're going to answer here. Simply, but okay. it's where, where do the babies come from? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where babies come from. <laughs> Dylan's been trying to word this question in for a long time. <laughs> My teachers were not thorough enough with me. I'm very confused about this. And he His just got married. So he needs to yeah, know. I have been wondering for a very long time about where. People get their motivation. Now, this is separate from passion. Passion and motivation are not the same thing. Yeah. Passion is something that, like, I, I'm passionate about movies. Like, I love watching them and, you know, everything about them. Like, I just can't get enough of it. But I'm not motivated by movies. Okay. I'll tell you what my secret is. All right. I get really depressed if I stop doing things. Okay. So, it's depression. <laughs> yes. You're depressed. <laughs> yeah. You're it's depressed depression. <laughs> Let's talk more about that, Rhea. <laughs> what makes you sad? No, I just have always been that way. Um, I have no idea <laughs> where turn. it comes from. It's no, no, truly actually, I... like if I stop mm-hmm. doing things, like I just want all my ideas to come to fruition. And it drives me crazy if I'm sitting on an idea and I can't bring it to life. Yeah, yeah. Especially if... If I've hit like the top, if I can't climb anymore, it's like mm. I'm always climbing to the next level. Well, if I have like in my quest to understand more of how, I mean, my quest is more to understand how you get more motivation, not necessarily where it comes from. Google Calendar. Google Calendar is <laughs> yeah. how you get more motivation. Yeah. Uh, but now, like when I was making uh, Social Norm, the movie, I mean, that was a massive project. It yeah. took many years, a lot of dedication, but the number one driving thing why I wanted to do that was not from a place of like, I just have to do it because it was more of a sense of I'm going to hate the alternative, which is if I don't do it, I'm a, that, that sucks. And that's like the main motivating factor. And I think most people's motivation comes from a sense of uh, fear of regret or a sense of like revenge. Like so you just asked me to answer your own question. Well, I think it's more like I understand kidding. where the motivation is coming from uh-huh. because, I mean, everybody kind of shares a common motivation. Yeah. I think the question is just how do you keep getting more more motivated? <laughs> More motivation, because it seems like you're doing a bunch of things. I know. Oh, let me think about that for a second. <laughs> deep questions. Deep um, philosophical questions. Like, Luke, how do you get more motivation? I mean, again, I, like I, I said, we're not going to be able to answer this. Zero like, motivation. I'll tell you how I do it. I oh, hand Mitchell. my wife a hot metal rod, and she prods me off the couch. <laughs> like a spatula. Like a Here, rod. motivate me. Uh, like, I <laughs> think, just brand um, you. The idea of mortality really gets me at times too this is taking a dark turn (laughs) as i age you're pregnant you're gonna die soon i'm not pregnant you keep saying that you keep editing that yeah i know (laughs) my boyfriend's gonna be like what what happened (laughs) this is the weirdest podcast uh, (laughs) just the youtube tags just nothing but brown's pregnant (laughs) <laughs> and Brianna's on Thumbnail. Com. And Brianna's on yeah. Thumbnail. Thumbnail could be her, her and Maury. Oh, no. Just, oh, my God. Comma. Uh, <laughs> Brianna's ready. Comma. Question mark. That's where this um, podcast went. Well, I think about, like, okay, am I going to have to, like, take care of this kid one day? <laughs> <laughs> Look, but I think about all the things that I want to do before right. that day comes, and it's like, well, I have to start like three lines right now. It's, that's going to take time. I want to yeah, yeah. like be grounded in that and know that I'm on the right path, mm-hmm. especially because I don't have any other security, right? Mm-hmm. So this is like it's just me and my team, and we're just creating yeah. stuff to make money. Yeah, yeah. no, no safety, no safety net. No There's net. no safety right. net. Yeah. 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 Well, look, with a kid, look, there's still plenty of <laughs> Make time. Make me feel better. <laughs> there's still plenty of time kid, to I'm do not all the things. Yet. Because, look, I mean, I I have time. I could, like, wash, like, the dishes. <laughs> 
and which has been your dream. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, my I dream. I do of all the things <laughs> I've always wanted to do. It's fantastic. I love it. Thank you. I was something to look forward to. Finally, I knew I came joy here for a reason. Comes from that. I still have projects. Yeah. <laughs> In the projects. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out if there is a way to like be able to get more of that because I'm kind of like in the same boat. Which Are is you I, not motivated? No, I'm, I'm motivated. Um, I just think everybody has a different degree of motivation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like the actual follow through. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to understand because I mean, some of the, every successful person, or at least 99 percent of them are extremely hard workers and they're extremely yeah. motivated to constantly do things like Bill Gates doesn't have to keep working for Microsoft after he made like his first couple million. But he just kept going. And same for every successful person out there. So they have this insane motivation to keep doing things. Well, because it's fun. Everything I'm doing, I've created out of my brain. But is it always fun, though? No, it's not always fun. Uh But working out isn't always fun either. That's a very good example, actually. You feel good when you are done. That's a very good example. Because there's a lot of times where you have to make the trade. The trade is, if I do it, it's going to suck for a minute, but then I'll feel better afterwards. Or I can not do it, feel good now, and then feel bad afterwards. Like, totally. what's the trade you want to make? Yeah. And I feel like working out is a perfect example of why and it's probably better to feel better afterwards. Another, thank you. And another big motivation for me, too, is, you know, the saying, like, surround yourself with people mm-hmm. that motivate you or that you want to aspire to. Like, you always want to be the the you don't want to be the smartest person in the room. Mm-hmm. You want to be like the dumbest person. That's why I've been room. trying to escape this group for a long time. <laughs> I've been what are you trying podcast. to say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because then you, if you're not the smartest person in the room, then that means everyone's smarter than you and you can learn from them. Yeah, right. Um, so I try to surround myself with like-minded people and that's why I have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Inventura. <laughs> I have a couple of friends in Ventura and I have a lot of family in Ventura and um no but I also love teaching people like I I love teaching my girls even though they probably don't feel like I love teaching them they probably think I'm just yelling at them the whole time but I know I'm really equipping them for <laughs> their future <laughs> is that why you're always like when someone shoplifts from your store you chase them down you're really like saying I just yeah. want to be your friend I want to learn from you <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to know yeah, how you were able to down. get this item without paying for it oh my gosh I don't even want to say the things I want to do to the shoplifters it's crazy you know what I want to do and I think this would be a really great idea and I want you guys to weigh in on this All right. if when someone is caught shoplifting like they're like it's usually like 14 year olds trying to steal bikinis in the dressing room mm-hmm. i just say okay well your con the consequence for this is now that we have to cut your hair we have to shave you bald i gotta just do like, it take, you're gonna be gi jane just, like take a chunk of their hair do you know how dramatic that would be <laughs> wow and you should you should you should just have like the dirtiest Shears, yeah, rust, just rusted over, just rusty. rusty. And let me tell you, the shears. only reason I haven't done it before is because a, I would need par- parental signature, <laughs> and b, I'm afraid of giving someone a pair of scissors that could potentially use it against me as a weapon. Yeah. Those are that's the only reason <laughs> oh, I, think, I haven't oh, you, done you this. Would, you would force them to cut their own hair, is what you're saying? Yeah, because then I couldn't technically get in trouble for it. I would have them sign a paper. I've really thought about this. That, yes, I stole, I'll never come back into Tiki Girl, and now I have to cut my hair. And then they cut a chunk of their hair. Just give them the scissors, and then you can have a shield. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You, you should start just, like, taping the hair to the wall. And just have, like, a really <laughs> yes, creepy like the wall of back shame. room. Yeah. The, the hairy, hairy wall of shame. <laughs> hairy wall of the shame. The Tiki Harry's wall of shame. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel like that would be really devastating for. What if it's a guy? Someone. What are you gonna do about? How same, do you, same. Cut it. What if he's bald? <laughs> Let me take his hand, Dylan. <laughs> cut his I say, there's I plenty of things wear, we wear a really bad wig for a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, he loses a finger, Joel. He loses wow. a finger. 
<laughs> what super extreme <laughs> moral of the team. story don't steal from tiki girl <laughs> yeah. do not steal from tiki you've girl. had to like how many times does it happen like uh, you get shoplifted so when we get when we get our bikinis in these little hood rats come in in packs mm-hmm. like thirsty wolves <laughs> For expensive bikinis. And they're like 14. They're wearing like little tiny shorts, little tiny backpacks, and little tiny tank tops. And they'll go in the dressing rooms. And four of them will go into the four different dressing rooms. And then two of them will try to distract the girls on the floor. So it's this whole thing that they've planned out. And then you can tell that they're stealing because Mm -hmm. it's completely obvious. And so we'll be like, hey, can we have that bikini back that you're trying to steal? Mm-hmm. And they're like, ah. <laughs> and some of them will try to run out of the store. I mean, I've I've had people run out of the store and wow. have had to chase them out before. What do you, Have you ever caught one? Yeah. And what do you do when you catch them? Like, grab them by the arm? Like, how does that whole altercation work? I've never, like, had to well, chase anybody down for anything. you cannot touch them. <laughs> oh, you don't? Oh, no. You'll get in trouble. Oh. It depends. One time we chased down... Um, this like little 16 year old who had stolen a bikini top and she went into urban outfitters and one of the girls had her one of my girls came with me and had her come out of urban outfitters and i basically laid into her outside of urban outfitters and she like cried and handed me back this bikini top i love that so much that makes (laughs) me so happy (laughs) but then the other couple times there have been like you know drug addict stealing so you're a little uh, weary about yeah, that like yeah. going up to them and being like hey person that doesn't know i'm right in front of them like can i yeah. have can i have that back so that's for- that's when you just play into their weird universe and you just say like Whoa. the gods have told me you should hand me back <laughs> the, the bikini gods, you stole poseidon gave yeah, me exactly. instructions <laughs> one time i actually came to the store we were doing a little renovation and uh, there was this i get to the store this is at my old location teeny teeny tiny it's like 500 square feet and the door is open and it's dark and there's boxes everywhere we're Mm -hmm. in the middle of you know a little renovation like i said and um i I look in i'm like hello and this lady's like hi oh my god hi (laughs) (laughs) i'm like who's in here she's like it's martha (laughs) <laughs> oh. oh martha okay i was like where are you and she's like in the dressing room i'm trying a few things on and the dressing room is loaded with boxes first of all and this woman in her 50s was in the dressing room in the dark trying dresses on i was like martha you cannot be in here and she's like i know but I just saw all the things and I needed to come try them on. Wow. And I said, okay, Martha, let me see in your backpack before you leave. And she's like, okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I get it. So she was like super cool. She's like, okay, well, I can come back when you're open, right? It's like, sure, <laughs> come back when we're open. Wow. So she comes back when we're open, which Jeez. was like four hours later. Starts trying things on again. And she has like a teeny tiny tank top. And underneath this tank top, she tries to walk out with a colorful maxi dress stuffed <laughs> into the tank top. And I was like, Martha. She's like, what? You can, you can see it. Can't you see it? And I'm not making this up. This is real. Nice try, Martha. <laughs> and one of my girls, Kendall, was there too. And we were just like, this is nuts. This is so crazy. And she's like... I was like, I'm going to have to call the cops. She's like, no, don't call the cops and start stripping. Takes off the maxi dress from oh. underneath her tank top, runs down the street. I'm on the, I'm on my cell with the cops chasing oh this woman. <laughs> she's like shedding jewelry and helmets and all the things <laughs> she that she's stolen that day. <laughs> yeah. Football helmet? She's like, no, done with this bike helmet. <laughs> And I lose her because she's so fast. <laughs> she's an Olympic athlete. <laughs> Perfect yeah. form. Just hurtling over she's pedestrians. Hurtling. Yeah. Yes. Jumping over people. <laughs> Martha. And um, Like Assassin's Creed. So she runs off. Scaling a building. And then, so I call the cops. Cop come. We do a report. She shows up later that day shopping again. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh While the cops are there. And I say, hey, that's Martha. Like at the store across the way. He's like, oh, okay. 
and like doesn't go talk to her doesn't do anything he's like well you hand- handled this civilly right like you handled it yourself oh my gosh so. Come apparently on. we don't need it those cops nuts it's yeah. like then but, why are you talking to me right now i know <laughs> but the homeless situation and the crackhead situation is actually much better now than it has been in the past because we have these guys called the red shirt guys whose job is to ride around on bicycles and basically acquaint oh. themselves with oh, wow. the homeless and the drug addicts and cool. knows and know them they're by name and try to like place them and things like that is that so, a new thing like that. that was introduced? it's been in the past like three years but oh, i mean mm-hmm. they know everyone so if we have a problem with someone we'll call them and they'll be right there and it's great and they'll talk oh, wow. to them yeah, that's, and that sounds good. that's actually pretty cool, but that also sounds like the worst job you could ever. Have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know how they do it. Worse than working at Tiki Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you were telling us uh, before we jumped on, like you were going to give us tips for how guys should. It's a very cliche thing when every. Oh. It's not just at your store, but it's any any shopping center. It's the guy that's standing outside whatever <laughs> store, be it Victoria's Secret yeah. or exclusively a woman's store. Yeah. And just the husband that's just in shame, I the know. bag, and just looks I miserable. I think that you guys are in shame. I just think you're on your phone. Or just like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like, I, I couldn't do it. I'd be like, it's worse standing out here looking like that than just walking in and being like, yeah, whatever. Like, you know why I'm here. Yeah. As long as I'm yeah. with, like, my, my wife, like, yeah. you know why I'm here. Yeah. I didn't I go, come in here because I, I, I go one step further and start trying on some of the women's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, you know, you don't. Well, at least you do that rather than make jokes about not having your size or having your size. Whatever you do, you guys, don't go in because we've heard this probably 10,000 times. A guy comes in and goes, you have anything in my size? Oh, jeez. And you're like... <laughs> I do. Duly actually. noted. I was going to make that this joke. Bikini yeah, so. on. It's your color. Well, now that I it. know, you just put. You should just push him to try something on. <laughs> push him. <laughs> no, physically. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. Get out of here. But I, I am really insecure about my seating arrangement in the store. I don't think I've ever had seating that guys feel comfortable sitting in. No. It's always like a rattan like natural fiber chair <laughs> and they're like i'm not gonna sit in that thing I, I thought it was like, more the placement of the chair like you should put it like right in front of the bikini rack right? <laughs> I think that's just right I in front it. of the dressing rooms that's yeah. where i have it in the dressing Shoot. room See, in that's, the dressing room that's what the issue is it's too in front of the dressing room they feel uncomfortable <laughs> just right in front in facing front of the, the security room. camera facing into the dressing room <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you guys go in a store, what like where do you sit? Like where do you want to sit? I just, What's I'm your not ideal in there long situation? Enough to be able to like need to sit. Hopefully, I merely just run through the store and say I'm married. <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> I'll usually find you know the seating closest to the Playboy rack. There's usually a couple magazines I can choose from. The old Perfect. Playboy store. Can you imagine? I should do that. I I uh, I don't know. My wife always gets she she like pulls me into the process. Do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like yeah, this? and I think that's the and like I I kind I kind of actually get into it. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I like that's that. great. Like, no, try this over here. <laughs> See, I think that's probably actually the best approach is that if you just you just got to go with it. Be like, yeah. all right, let's just what are you what are you trying on? Okay, yeah, that looks kind of good. You know, yeah. If you don't want my opinion, then I'll just I'll follow you. It's right. Like you're not going to get more than ten feet away from me. <laughs> In any circumstance, like I want to make sure you know that I'm I'm with you because if any <laughs> other the if any of the store like employees saw, which is probably going to be female as well, yeah. saw just some random dude by himself, just kind of in the yeah. women's <laughs> rack, just a head above you know the rack, just you know <laughs> we know you guys are accompanying other people. If you pay attention, right. it's our job to know why you're there. Yeah, but that's, it's not that's, enough. That's a true. That's like a true like insecurity though. I feel like. If you're if you're a dude, if you're if you're, I mean, you could be standing outside the store, which is fine. So you could be sitting in some of the designated chairs, that's fine. But if you're just like walking around a women's store and you're not like five feet from your spouse or from your girl, then it's weird. It's just yeah. like yeah. you feel like you're being watched and you feel like yeah. you're a creep. Yeah. This guy and you're like smelling women's, women's clothes, clothes or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I never realized mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that makes There's, total sense. Yeah. I think Proximity. the best route for you guys is to do like what you were saying is be really interactive and it it makes us go like oh my that guy 
what a guy and we talk about it we're like that was great yeah that's right. it's uh i think it's the best approach but i mean it, it, this is why you can never buy if you wanted to get a gift for like your wife or your girlfriend or gift whatever card you know what gift card yeah but you, you still have to go in by yourself and yeah. this is where it's like how, how am i gonna do this this is where shopping online, online would really what? be handy you beeline yeah beeline, beeline, for that beeline, desk. Yeah. beeline it to the counter yeah. but what if you don't know what you're getting then you ask us for help. I have a whole handout on how to work with guys. Yeah, that's risky. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that's a risky move. That doesn't work. <laughs> doesn't work. No. Go on a Tiki Girl and see if it works. But, but it seemed like no. it was seemed Test them out. Awkward. Secret shopper, I, I, Cody. I had to walk in, I this, to, walk this, in this. to get a Victoria's Secret gift card one time, and I just put on a pair of horse blinders and just went straight. <laughs> Didn't look anything, to, anybody. What did, what did you have to go into Victoria's Secret for? Uh, like once a week. It's I don't really go into it. <laughs> a little side project. Oh, a little side project. Yeah. No, but if I if I went to like the counter at Victoria's Secret and I needed help, it's I don't a know long how to start that conversation. Way to go too to that counter. You have to go through the. Whole I know they put it the very door. opposite end. Why do they do yeah. that? Like I'm gonna walk in Why and be like, "Excuse it? me, ladies, so I need buy help." Buy everything on the way. I need, I need your help. Counter. I don't know how to start <laughs> that conversation. I need a black threaded. Black and the, the thing is, the six, thing six, is six like uh, probably like depending on which Victoria's Secret you go into, but there's a long line to get to like the front of the whatever, and there's like a huge like LCD screen next to you, just like with porn on it, and just women like dancing <laughs> yeah. all, all around you. And you're like, dude, what is happening? Yeah. I do not belong here. I I feel like like the that's so accurate. The people that work there, the girls that work there, they there has to be like. Just the break room has to be the funniest thing where they're just guys. like, that guy, watch him. Just yeah. watch him. Just look how uncomfortable he is. Yeah. Look, I'm squirm. Uh, yeah. Look, he's farting. Go. Yeah, in the situation, I just feel like if that did happen, like, yeah, the videos that are always there, the scantily clad women and whatnot, everywhere you turn is just some half naked woman. You just like, like close your eyes. I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Run out of place. Ah, I'm loyal. I'm, I'm loyal. loyal. <laughs> I'm, ah, I'm loyal. <laughs> Screaming, I'm loyal. <laughs> the whole time you're in there. <laughs> I'm loyal, I'm loyal, I'm loyal. I think there's a perfume called loyal in there, too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, well, we have that here for you. <laughs> here you go. Oh, thank you. You have the loyal brand? <laughs> Is this the loyal brand? That should be a, that's a good brand name. Loyal. Okay. That's loyal. a great brand name. Yeah. Mm. You should call your line. One of them? Yeah. yeah. Loyal. 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 My candle. Then loyal. make another one called loyal. Cheater. Cheater. Yeah. So you're just opposing, opposing lines. <laughs> Rabid cheater. Loyal cheater. Rabid cheater. Rabid cheater. I think there, I sold Savage a shirt cheater. that said, don't be a cheetah. And it had a cheetah on it. Oh, my God. Yeah, it sold out. Whoa. Instantly. I mean, it is catchy. You're like, I'm not making any more of those. <laughs> don't be a cheetah. When are you going to have a Tiki, tiki Girl branded Tiki Torch? Yeah. Tiki Girl branded the Tiki Girl? Tiki okay. Torch. Tiki Torch. Tiki Girl branded Tiki Torch. I'm telling oh, you. Oh my gosh. That's Make the problem. <laughs> That's, I think I need to start with one of those cups first, which I've looked into before. How cute would that be? A, a tiki, tiki cup? cup? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Like a, like a yeah. tiki bar. Tiki. Okay. And yeah. I actually thought about putting a candle in it so it was yeah. like a twofer so you could yeah. have the candle and then you could use the cup right we, we really just want it to be like half sears where it's just like <laughs> weird random stuff a chainsaw when do you, you guys start selling tires barbecue <laughs> <laughs> what do you real tires? barbecue that's a good we, question though we have your lawn and garden section <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I can do, buy some ammo here. I, I do have some things for lawn and garden, arms? actually. Really? Yeah. Not lawn, but garden for sure. Well, oh, there you go. There you go. There's a, there's a the place in uh, downtown called Ventiki. Uh -huh. Have you ever talked to them and be like, hey, hey, hey? They hey. know me as Tiki Girl. They're so like, you you're guys Tiki gonna Girl. Do a I'm partnership? Like, yeah. That seems like that's an offer waiting to happen. I know. I uh, I feel like I should have my own drink there or something. Yeah. You should have like yeah. their own drink, and you should have like a promotion over there. So you guys like should cross brand. We need or to do like something. That. You know, it's funny. People, you know how there's like the really diehard 1950s tiki like rockabilly people. Yeah. Oh, they're so mad at me every time they come in the store. <laughs> Why? They're like, this, this isn't, isn't tiki. tiki. Yeah. There's nothing tiki in here. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I didn't come up with a name. I just bought it. 
<laughs> Here, here's the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to Bintiki down the street. They have like a memorabilia tiki 1950s Hawaiian Polynesian stuff. Forgive Sorry. <laughs> you should have you should have like one dusty old Hawaiian shirt that you just keep in the back. <laughs> Here it is. There you go. Got it, is. suckers. <laughs> Buy this. I know for a long time I was like, ugh, the name Tiki Girl. And now it's kind of like, I don't even think of the name anymore. Like, right. it mm-hmm. just, we are what we are. Yeah. Which is cool. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Would you Would you love to, like, franchise the industry? Is that kind of, like, something you would like to um, do? Or? I don't know about franchising, but I I want to own everything, Dylan. So, McDonald's. Um, yeah. All of I wanna, Main Apple computers. I want to <laughs> own McDonald's. Um, no, but I would, I, I'm planning on opening my second store, hopefully, before the end of the year. So, Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That's really soon. Whoa. I have a lot going on. In Ventura? No. Thousand of Are, are we no. an, allowed to know where Sub it Harbor. is? It's one of the mission cities. Santa one of the mission cities. Santa Barbara. State no. Street. Gosh, Slow. you guys are it's so close. Slow? Maybe. We'll see. Long Beach. It's been <laughs> said. Because you, you went to California, didn't you? <laughs> Long Beach. All of a sudden, I'm like, I got, I got the Long Beach, Beach mission. <laughs> Is it, it's just going to be like Tiki Girl 2.0 or Tiki we, Girl second location 2.0? We, yeah. Okay, we'll find out more later. Second. Yeah, that, we'll but, find out more later. We should have like we should have had you on the day that you were going to announce that. It'd been like boom. I know. Done. But I'm I guess sorry. today was going to have to. Hey, you're, you're, you're a busy have me person. Back. I'll be back. Then I can like really pitch it just really promote it yeah, and maybe we can have well, like a whole we can all wear our tiki shirts that i don't sell there yes. you go and then we can have some tiki torches and some tiki drinks yeah i'll bring cody some perfume perfume <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, actually yeah the, I, this may be a stupid question but do you actually sell any men's clothes at no. your store none mm-hmm. are you ever gonna think about expanding out to men we get enough creepy guys in the store already and we <laughs> didn't have a reason for any more to come in. Fair enough. <laughs> well, all that talk about acting cool in the store, yeah. everyone's just you need, creepy. You need, yeah. You're just well, all creepy. You want to attract the non-creepy guys to go in, so it's like extra backup in case the creepy ones do go in. Uh-huh. Interesting strategy. I still think if I carried men's clothing, women would be really, they wouldn't want to try on as much yeah. stuff. Mm. Especially with the layout of the it's store, if it was like yeah. a huge department store, and I could have like different sections, and everyone yeah. felt comfortable in their little section. Not to say that all different types of people can. Everyone can try on stuff in Tiki Girl, but I'm. I don't think that women would feel as comfortable trying bikinis on with some guy trying. You should just have all your employees have concealed carry licenses. <laughs> I would love <laughs> just that. Just exposed in a whole You're like five foot four, 120 pound <laughs> employees, just, you know, yeah. but a huge like, 22 rifle on their back. It should be like weird weapons, though. It should be like samurai swords <laughs> on their backs. It and should nunchucks. be tiki torches. It should just be like, I'm going to light you on fire. Just, I'm gonna light you on fire. <laughs> they're all wearing. They're all oh my god! Welcome. I'm gonna light you on fire today. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut your hair. And then we're gonna put it on the wall. Just super Next weird. To the tires. Full on samurai outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Double swords. Uh, Come back with that dress. <laughs> But really, no, it's very safe. It sounds like I've been making Tiki Girl out to seem like the most dangerous shop on earth. <laughs> no, no, like, we've been in there many times. I've only been shot once. <laughs> Ventura's come a long way. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, downtown Ventura has changed. We, we've talked about this many times. Downtown Ventura has changed a lot, a lot. in just the last 10 years oh, by yeah. itself. I mean, it's not like we go down there all the time, but... Uh, I've seen it growing up here is just how it's gone from a place where it was like, yeah, I don't go down there too often. And now it's like, that's like, if you want to go hang out, that's the place to go. Yeah, that's where you go. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's like, I kn- I was curling my hair to come here tonight to be on this podcast. And I was oh. like, wow, I haven't curled my hair to go out in a long time. <laughs> like, this is new. We feel and so honored. And you came to the scary. East End of the tour. Yeah, I just came like five minutes from, I came from the East End to the further East End. Oh, okay. Yeah. But... When I walk in down, downtown at nighttime, it's a whole different world. I'm like, whoa, mm-hmm. there's my store. I have a store here. That's weird. It's a yeah. different place. Yeah. It's, That's got to be bizarre. It's like, so bizarre. You're out for like a, like a yeah, night on the town. And then I like walk past my store. I'm yeah. like, oh. 
I own that place. It's an exclusive club to own a a business on downtown Main Street. Yeah, and it it costs a lot of money. Uh, (laughs) I would say that's a question I'd have for you, like, outside the podcast. Like, how much does it cost to rent a place down there? Oh, I'll tell you. (laughs) And you're, like, smack dab in the middle of, like, the best block. I love our spot. (laughs) It's really good. We'll have been there for five years next year. Wow. Yep. And that location. Crazy. Time time and rent just owner, keeps going up. Did you know the owner of Hollywood Fitness? No, because they're gone. Yeah, they're gone now. Yeah, but I never knew the owner. You never knew the owner. Mm-mm. But I used to go I there. Know. It was so convenient. <laughs> Do you know the owner of Hollywood? I knew a guy. I knows did. a guy. <laughs> I used to work there. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah, for like I forgot about that. All I know is I would never go ago. in that like screening room to work out because I was like, this is where I'll die. This is where it was like a big movie theater yeah. where there was like elliptical That's machines. That's why it was called Hollywood Fitness. Cause Hollywood they, Fitness. And you would watch movies, which the concept is super cool. But then you're in there by yourself watching a terrifying movie about a serial killer. And you're like, I'm going to die now. Yeah. Or, or Happy Feet. <laughs> they just, <laughs> or happy yeah. Feet. They just played Science of the Lamb constantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was always one different movie every day, but it would be on a loop. It would. Just the shining. It was shining always eyes wide shut on loop. Just but there was a couple movies where I actually worked out way longer. Like, I worked out for an hour and a half so I could finish a movie. I can't, I don't remember what it was, but I was like, this is working. It worked. Yeah. Someone should re uh, restart that. Restart yeah. that business. Restart it. It'd be funny to like pick a movie. Like, what movie motivates you? And I'd, like, everyone would be like, oh, Rocky and stuff like that. But I'm like, yeah, that's Chicken Run. It's just the most unmotivated movie. <laughs> Chicken run. Let's put on the Shawshank run. Redemption. Yeah. Yeah. I love the romantic movie. comedy. <laughs> Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, it's my favorite movie. It's Joel? It's Joel? your favorite movie? <laughs> it's everyone's the club. favorite movie. I can't. I know. Yeah. Well, our, my fish was named Morgan Freeman. Because it was red. <laughs> I love it. Like red. Red the fish. Yeah. 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 So, uh, if we wanted to check out your channel, what's the name of your channel? Uh, my YouTube channel is Tiki Girl TV. <gasps> yep, it's very snazzy. Do you have uh, a new episode coming out? How often do you release videos? Once a week. Oh, very nice. That's yeah. about what we do for the podcast. Once yeah. a week. That's you cool. guys really have a lot of podcasts under your belt now. Did uh, over 50 now. That's yeah. awesome. Over number 50. We're catching yeah. up with Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's only on like... 1575 yeah. Yeah, yeah i can't think of that <laughs> we're actually words. we are on the cusp of figuring out how to uh actually do more uh maybe not so much vlog videos but those are vlog videos right you'd mm-hmm. call them more like that we're trying to figure out how to expand back obviously you knew what we we're doing skits and stuff like that yeah i would day. love to see more skits from you guys we are <laughs> <laughs> we are <laughs> Believe me, we have talked about it, and we're going to continue talking about it. We are this close to figuring out how we're going to do it. It's just we're so busy. I mean, we're like you, like we're yeah. we're working we all the, have, what the contracts and stuff. Oh yeah, the yeah, contracts. Yeah. We work yeah, out yeah. who's getting paid. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very expensive. All of us. Yeah, but it's like I mean, as you know, like it's so like we're just so busy. I mean, obviously, like all of us, with the exception of Cody, are not married. I mean, he's about to get married soon. Luke's got a, a child. And it's like we all have full time jobs, and it's yeah. it's not an easy it's thing to do hard. on a regular basis. Yeah, but I'm just making excuses. Yeah, where's so your motivation? I have plenty of motivation. No regrets. It's just gotta go do it. But I, I'm we're gonna do it. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna happen. Dylan uh, just got his motivation right now. He just there I'm it all. Is. Up. <laughs> He's wishy-washy. Skit one. <laughs> get up there. No, I think we're gonna do it again soon. Uh, but we, uh, yeah, we've been. There's stuff in the works. <laughs> I don't know how to pitch it. It's happening somehow. Um, yeah, you, you got something up your sleeve. There's a. Uh, well, we've been talking about it. It'll. I think it's gonna. Oh, I think you soon. should put it on Google Calendar so you're held accountable to it. <laughs> I. Uh, you're held accountable. You and your Google Calendar. Yeah. Actually, I, yeah, I, I use... you guys should listen to podcasts on Google Cal and how to like time batch your life. Uh, I got enough to do. I know, it sounds like a blast. <laughs> I got enough to do. Yeah, I actually, Cody just Let alone his, batch uh, my life. I got very He tired just finished his movie that he's been working on for 13 years. Cody! The same one that you yeah. he was probably working on when Where is we it? first met you. Where is it? I, nobody knows. <laughs> it's on a hard it's drive. Over there. It's there. in the Japanese candy. <laughs> Near the Japanese, <laughs> Japanese fish. candy we have over there. He's been in the process of deleting it. <laughs> this whole time. Yeah. He finished it. It takes deleted. forever to empty the trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah but uh is it still on for december is that still Maybe. pretty much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I noticed your trailer launched. Yeah, yeah it did. your trailer launched. Let's plug your and, plug your trailer while we're and, at. And all it says it's coming soon. Trailer's up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. My question for the Such third time: Where promoter. is it? <laughs> trailer's up. What's <laughs> silence? <laughs> wow. Can't do it. Don't know how to market. The, the, I can tell you the, the the hardest thing about social norm was actually promoting it. That was the hardest part for me. It's yeah. a whole other battle. It's distribution and that that is a whole separate war. Yeah. Yep. I can tell you that. Well, your so. movie's like extra unique though, <laughs> just because like of the way you. No, that... it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> extra unique. It's <laughs> no the the feedback the people that have seen it so far have said yeah it's different. <laughs> well, no, just, what is it about? There's just like... by, by virtue of the way you created it, it's it's an animated movie. Okay, gotcha. But like a hundred percent animated by one person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that guy. Gotcha. Yeah. Like that does not happen. Wait, can yeah. you draw? No, it's not like drawing. It's, it's not 3D drawing. Three animated, yeah. Yeah. It's what? Three D animated, like. Wow. Toy Story. Mm-hmm. So that's different from drawing. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's all computer. Uh, Graphics and yeah, it took you 13 years to make that. Holy moly! Pretty much, most most of it was messing up and going back and redoing a lot of stuff. Yeah, because technology progressed. Not only that, I like would get better at something mm-hmm. and I'd be like, oh god, this looks like crap now. So I'd backtrack yeah. and remake an entire uh, scene, and that would be two more years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the first like 17 minutes of the movie like took four or five years of that 12. How long, How is, long it? is it? Hour and fifty-two. Wow! <laughs> Stop <laughs> saying that. I'm saying. <laughs> but what's it about? Yeah, oh, pitch your movie here, Cody. Come on, Come let's on. hear it. These are genuine questions. Coming yes, from it's me. about a guy uh-huh. who's from a different planet. Okay. And he goes back to that planet. Is he human? Good question. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> These are things Ish. Cody doesn't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. That's a good question. <laughs> Did I answer that question? <laughs> gotta start over. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go remake that scene. <laughs> That's a great idea. See you guys in 2021. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah. Just a, uh, he's like a, a war hero and he has to go back to his planet. It's the whole like... Save the planet that he came from? Yeah cliche i'm retired yeah and then he's pulled out of retirement he's like oh gosh darn it and he has to do it all over again <laughs> oh, shucks. Exact quote. Darn it. you know you know the formula works so yeah mm-hmm. that yeah plot. it's a lot of a lot of cliches i mean you have to realize i wrote this when i was 21 and a lot of it is just like yeah, like a 21 year old wrote it and by the time i had gotten far enough like i realized that and i was like Ugh, i'm not gonna go back and change it so mm-hmm. A lot of it's like a lot of cliche, boring stuff. Well, you're just promoting this movie that you're making me really want to see. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm, to I'm see. keeping the bar low. <laughs> no, that's that's what I mean though. It's it's the whole appeal of this movie is how much freaking work went into it. Well, that's the thing. I was I was yeah. I said before like the the story behind the making of it is more interesting than the actual movie itself. Mm. Yeah. Like, you will not ever find a hand-animated two-hour-long movie <laughs> animated by one person. It took yeah. that long to make. Wow. Like, n- yeah, nowhere. Yeah. You should have started a documentary uh, that's what I was gonna 12 say. years ago. You should yeah. have been recording yourself the whole time. I, know. I, did, I didn't know it was going to take that long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The original due date was 2009. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jeez. So the reason we messed up is we want to do a cross promotional thing with Cody's movie and Tiki Girl. I can so tell it's yeah. going to be selling the exigency uh, bikinis. Yeah, the premiere yeah. of Cody's movie is going to be on the walls of Tiki Girl. Yes. Yeah, next to all the hair that you've cut. From yeah, <laughs> it's, my my film is really targeted towards women. Yeah, <laughs> they love the animated films. Animal if you have a princess yeah. in it, it would probably do great. Is there a princess? What? Do you have a princess in it? Uh no, a singing I princess. I literally have like four female characters out of like a hundred characters. Well, that's, that's it's a like a Russian character. novel. For all of the film, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize it until later, and when I was making it, I was like, I have to add some more. So I added like more female towards the end. 
<laughs> I was like, I gotta get this mixed up. A little it's bit. hard for men to write women characters because they're not gonna pretend that they know how to. They don't know anything about women. <laughs> it's like oh, going. It's like going <laughs> into a women's them. clothing store. It's yeah. very yeah, hard yeah, to yeah, understand. Exactly. Yeah. See, it's all connected. Feels very awkward. We just kind of stare. We don't know where to look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's that woman thinking? Have no idea. <laughs> Guys, very simple to write. Yeah. They want food. They want to drink. They want to sleep. There's your character. Very basic. That's all they need. Save the planet. Yep. Save the planet. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. You guys should definitely check out Brianna's YouTube channel and her website and her store. Yes. She has a and lot going on. And follow me on Instagram at Shop Tiki Girl. One That's the more. spot. Whoa. So many things. All She's the new new. All over the place. Very, <laughs> very, very productive woman. She is doing a lot. And I'm sure we will have you on again at some point because when you really? launch your new store, we yeah. got to have this whole promotional thing. Absolutely. And my new t-shirt line, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The loyal t-shirt. Yeah, line. the loyal t-shirt. And the loyal t-shirt. t-shirt. Yeah. And I want 10 cents for every dollar. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, I want okay fine. Five. Five. <laughs> 10 cents for every dollar. Can I get, get half of your five? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Just for the hell of it. In the meantime, you guys should subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching there and check us out on SoundCloud, iTunes, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We don't have as many followers as Brianna has. Well, you guys have more on your YouTube than I have on my YouTube. <gasps> yeah, but a matter of time before you pass this up. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> We're not that savvy. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, everybody out there for watching listening. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you.